You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Mass Effect 3. This is Hill with Leon Shepard. And he's in the captain's cabin. And um, we did a outfit change for him. I found this casual outfit. I've never seen this before. I don't know what mod this might be a part of. But it's a pretty cool looking um, space flight suit. And if you know where this might be from, I mean, let me know. But I've never seen this before. All right, so after our last episode exploring the Citadel and talking and exploring, I thought that would be the end of the talking, but when we got back on the ship, come to find out there are many, many people that want to talk to Shepard. So let's get all that out of the way, and then we can focus on subsequent episodes with combat. But before we start talking, look at our aquarium. All the fish have been delivered, and we now have our barman who will come and feed them, so I don't have to worry about coming back from a hard-fought battle and seeing a bunch of corpses in the fish tank. Yes, corpses, that's a very famous word in Mass Effect. All right, let's start talking with these people. We'll use the intercom. I think Liara there, is first. There's something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Um, I'd like you to decide. You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a skilled engineer, the best the Alliance ever offered in battle, in fact. He was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. So are you. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Okay, so that's guest number one, and we got two reputation by talking to her. Allers wants to talk to us. Next. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? 
All right, we've got our Paragon and Renegade options, and we're going to go with Paragon. They tried, but failed. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? You can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. So what just happened? The, the screen went black. He didn't punch her in the face or accuse her of disingenuous assertions, I hope. All right. I'm okay with that. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. What? Is she flirting with Shepard? I would say yes. All right, James is next. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I thought about it. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot of kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I'm sure you did your best. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Hell yeah. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously, if you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. <laughs> Anytime. Okay. 
It's another guest down. Is there anyone else? Oh, I think we're done. Okay, and the reason I wanted to get these out of the way is because I believe they are timed. If I don't speak to the people when I get the opportunity, I will never get the chance to speak to them at all. Alrighty, so that's it. Um, also, what was unlocked is the um, Citadel DLC. We have uh, been given permission to have shore leave. We will probably look into that shortly, but I happen to know that there are lots of people that need our help. Let's Commander, see. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh my goodness, okay. So, every time I try to guide the ship somewhere where we can help, I have to deal with stuff on board. Ah, we have our engineers here from the SR2 from Mass Effect 2. They've joined Engineer Adams. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll buy it. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Okay. We definitely want our crew to be safe. Um, do these guys have anything to tell me? Commander, thank you. Okay, you're it's welcome. It's great to be back. All right. It it's good to be in an Alliance uniform again. All right. Welcome aboard, Chief. Yeah, it's great to have you two back. I'm glad the commander didn't forget. Now, let's go back to the CIC. Commander, Admiral Anderson is what available in the, the room on Fitcock. Are you kidding me right now? All right, let's go talk to Anderson. Shepard, I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. That's good to hear. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely sounds bad. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay. I'm just wondering, is this 
suit. It's kind of similar. I don't think this was the type of clothing that they wore in uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. But it seems kind of similar. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyhow. If anybody knows where yeah. this is from, leave me a note in the comments. Okay. I think this is just going to be a talking episode, folks. It's, it's, it's going to be kind of difficult to... It just will be out of place after all this talking. That, that's what I want to say. To go into combat. Oh, we've got... Soldiers up here now. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Joker. So a Prothean. A real live Prothean. As we are stopped bouncing. That reminds me. I probably need to go talk to Javik too. Edie, anything? Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers, but I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Hmm. Whatever it wants it to be. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. There's more to organics. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <sighs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Oh my goodness, we just turned Edie into a hero? Is it possible? I love I love that Edie mod. I'm telling you, it is just amazing. I like seeing her human. I mean, it, it just it adds weight to everything that she says rather than seeing that that robotic metallic form. That, you know, she really is evolving and struggling to understand what it is to be an organic. And she looks the part. It's just incredible. Trainer, have you got anything else for me? Commander. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to go downstairs for a minute. I think we have a little game? bit more time. Oh, wait, now he's going to talk about the strategy game? After I'm in the elevator? Oh look, it's Garrus. Let's talk to him. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Hmm. No. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Okay, more reputation. Um... 
Where is Ashley? We have not talked to her. Because I think with Caden, he was in here. If he, if he survived. But I really don't know where Ashley is. Huh. Speak of the devil. Good to see you. That's all you have to say? Good to see you. Oh, Ash. I tell you. How are we going to further our, con our relationship? If that's all you can say. Alright, I think we're just about done with our... Talking. What was this? Oh, training videos. Okay. I don't think we have anybody else on board. Oh, there was Allers. Hold on. Let's... Let's... What was Allers? No, she's on the other end. No, wait. Who's this? Is this the barman? Can I speak with him? Apparently not. But this is the guy, I believe, that is feeding the fish. So this is cool. This is where people can come and hang out and get served a drink and talk about their problems. I thought he was going to be over here, but that's... Because there are some wine glasses and stuff, but... Why not have the barman at the bar? It makes the most sense. Uh-oh. Do you see this? Look at Dr. Chakwas like she's waiting for Shepard. All right. What is it? May I speak with you, Commander? Yes. Yes, you can. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Right away. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. I don't remember if that was ever a thing. But I do think what we did, what this does is gives us another, um, what, slot for Medigel? Oh, and also, we've got some other stuff to do. Cybernetic. Let's see what we've got here. Weapon heat dispersion. Heat generated button. Now, I don't want this. I thought there were some decent implants. Reassign powers. That's okay. What bonus powers do we have unlocked? See, I'm out of money. I also, before started uh, recording, did some upgrades on weapons. So I, I've spent almost everything I've got. So we do definitely need to get out in the field. Uh-oh. Out in the field. Oh, wow. So Flare and Lash are already available. But he's not biotic. We're not going to do that. But I am interested in Inferno Grenades. Because in the hands of an engineer. I'm telling you. The damage that can be wrought. Is unparalleled. Okay. Um, let's see if Liara's got anything else. While we're making our rounds. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. No. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. 
their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Wow, that's interesting. So rather than be harvested by the Reapers, they committed mass suicide. See, some people think outside the box. All right, do you have anything for me, Glyph? No. All right. And Liara. Hello again, Shepard. Let's ask about the Prothean device. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. <laughs> I'll see you later. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. There is new information on the private messages terminal. All right. I think we have talked to everyone that I can or care to for this episode, which we are going to end here. And in our next episode, we definitely are going to get off this ship and get into combat. All right, until then, this is Hill, and I'm out.